Good morning, student. Let's start today's class. In today's class, we are going to discuss about closed loop congestion control. Okay, uh, this is the second method of congestion control. The first one is open loop con congestion control. Okay, which have which we have uh, studied in previous class. Okay, now you know, in I told you that. And in previous classes, I told you that uh, in closed loop condensation system, this uh, uh, means this uh, the condensation, okay, the, con the problem of condensation is controlled after occurring of the condensation. That means after uh, condensation happened in a node, the there's this type of technique used to control this closed loop you know, condensation control technique is used to control that uh, condensation okay but in open loop what happened in uh, in previous classes i also told you that in open loop condensation system control system um, the condensation which is uh, which is going to occur in the node uh, we take preventive method or to take uh, some preventive uh, techniques to avoid that condensation happening okay so the, that control that uh, in open loop uh, open loop condensation control we control the condensation before it happen okay Have, but in closed loop con condensation uh, con uh, condensation control si uh, system we control condensation after that condensation happen okay now uh, there is a several uh, policies okay uh, like uh, open loop condensation have several policies here color closed loop condensation has a several mechanism or policies or different type of protocols are there okay. the first one is back pressure okay the technique of back pressure for that means in back pressure what happened you see let's uh, this is source okay you know this is source okay then this is one node one second third fourth and and there is one destination okay so here uh, here if the condensation is occurred or uh, there is a, uh, not condensation if the in the node 3 didn't uh, transmit as much as uh, the data is received by that uh, node 3 then here condensation happened okay so if, if uh, here uh, in node 3 condensation happened then it back press back pressure to node 2 okay and remember the back pressure uh, and remember this is the flow direct data uh, flow direction okay in this direction data flowing okay and this is called uh, from congestion node to the backward all uh, links called up upward upward link okay upward link and after that up to destination called downward link downward link okay so uh, in the whenever there is a condensation happened then one back pressure applied to the previous node okay uh, or and remember that that break uh, this back pressure direction should be in the opposite to the flow of data direction okay data direction in this direction back pressure should be in this direction okay and whenever there is a congestion happened okay in the let's say in the node 3 okay then one break pressure or one information back pressure information going to node 2 okay and since uh, there is congestion happened in node 3 okay so in node 2 uh, the output uh, output side of the node 2 is congested so there is also uh, one uh, there is also a congestion happened in node 2 also okay then then the node 2 uh, send a back pressure signal to the node 1 and similarly in node 1 also one congestion happened okay and then after that it 
back press uh, the, the node one is back press information to the source and here in source the uh, the concession alleviate okay or uh, take down okay but reduce okay and in uh, and the, the this and you see the direction of back pressure is always opposite to the direction of data flow okay remember this and uh, this is the whole scenario of back pressure technique policy okay or protocol okay now next protocol is choke packet okay in choke packet what happened you see when there is a condition happened in any node okay you see similarly this is source okay this is source this is destination one node node one node two node three node four okay if let's say uh, the in uh, in node two node three the condition happened okay so in in choke packets uh, in choke packets that that in the choke packets there is no involvement of the previous nodes okay okay here the uh, node 3 from where the condition happened that directly send a choke packets a special type of choke a special type of packets which is called choke packets to the source to inform about the condition okay in previous uh, in a, in a, in this method or in back pressure method uh, this uh, the previous nodes are involved in the, uh, in, the, in, the in the condensation control method okay but here in choke packet method the condensation the, the condensation control by or directly by the uh, condensation node okay using choke packets okay now this is the this uh, this is the difference between choke packets and uh, and uh, back pressure okay now you see uh, the warning message goes directly uh, you see now next next is implicit signaling okay the implicit signaling is in the implicit implicit signaling there is no communication between the condensation node and the node and the receiver okay this is the difference okay in implicit signaling there is no connection between a congestion node and the source so source always guess okay about the congestion always guess the about uh, go guess about the congestion let's see let's say this is the our source and this is node 1 node 2 node 3 okay and this is the destination okay now let's see in node 3 congestion happened but there is no direct connection between uh, that in this node 3 and the source node okay source node always guess about the congestion huh? okay and by which basis uh, this source guess there is there should be a uh, there should be any clue that the source gets the uh, condition so the clue is that if the source send four packets of data okay but it get only two acknowledgement from the destination okay but in very slow or um, uh, it get two packets instantly two acknowledgement instantly and after uh, some more times that uh, on and uh, next two packets or the next ac two acknowledgement getting okay so the source in this uh, in this way the source guess that uh, the uh, receiver receive the data very or receive the rate of receiving uh, data is very slow in the receiver end so it is slow down sending okay so source slow down their sending speed okay so in this in that way the uh, uh, the source gets the consistency and 
alleviate the congestion or remove the congestion okay in the this is the implicit method okay now uh, explicit method means the node the node that experience congestion can exactly here uh, in explicit what happened you see uh, let's say this is source this is node 1 this is node 1 this is node 2 and this is destination let's say okay here edge like edge chalk packet method or chalk packet uh, for, uh, protocol here whenever let's say in node 2 congestion happen okay so here the node 2 signal directly to the source okay this method is like a chalk packet method but difference is that in chalk packet method there is a chalk packet or special type of packet will be sending to the source by the congestion node okay but here here what happened uh, here uh, in explicit signaling there is only one signal or command sent to the source okay directly from the congestion node okay and this uh, and and this uh, explicit signaling are of two types okay and occur either in the forward or to uh, occur in this explicit signaling occurring either uh, in the two direction that is forward direction and backward direction okay if this signaling send to the source end okay to re, uh, alleviate the congestion or to the, that signal sent to the source then it is called backward backward signaling if the uh, the congestion node send the signal to the destination okay to alleviate the congestion or to uh, recoup uh, to alleviate the congestion then that uh, signaling or that process is called forward forward due to this forward uh, due to this this direction the signal send this it is called forward signaling okay okay that's all about the open loop congestion system okay sorry closed loop congestion system okay that's all thank you